speak your mind with Blanco and Blanco. All right, we're here to talk about Dominic Cruz against Cody Gambrand. We're talking about the champ of the bantamweight division, Dominic Cruz, with a 21, uh, excuse me, 22 wins. One loss record, and he's going against Cody Garbrandt. What are your thoughts, Blanco? My thoughts on this is this is an excellent fight if it does happen. Garbrandt is a perfect 10 0 in the octagon. But you got a team out for now. Of course, Dominic's Cruz rivalry team, I guess. I don't know. He was beating everyone fucking over there. The so there tonight. Uh, let me just go ahead and do some notable things here on Dominic Cruz, the champ who actually was injured. Uh, basically, you know, the interim champ became TJ Dillashaw. Anyway, well, he, he, TJ Dillashaw became the official champ. The official Penny champ. Brown was the interim with Dominic Cruz. All right, thanks for that correction. What I'm saying here in regards to these last fights, out of the five fights, four of them were by decisions, wins by Dominic Cruz. Yeah. One of them was by K, uh, KO. So, interesting thing here, uh, Dominic Cruz has won unanimous decisions on Uriah. Uh, favor yep, twice. Here. Also, Mighty Mouse. Uh, he won a unanimous Long decision. Time ago. And then he, the one decision that he won out of his last five fights, the split decision was against T.J. Dillashaw. So what I'm trying to say here, Blanco, is in this fight, Dominic Cruz had already proven to beat the elite of the elite, beat the best of the best. In this fight, do you see? Him possibly losing his title. Okay, so first of all, let me uh, talk about Cody for a second here. So Cody is coming off of a knockout versus the KO Mizugaki. First round actually knocked him out faster than Dominic Cruz did, and he actually stated, "Hey man, I knocked him out faster than you did after that fight." So he knocked out him. He knocked out Marcus Brimage in the third round, or TKO. He also knocked out Augusto Mendez in the first. He's also knocked out Thomas Almeida. Of course, I actually knew Cody was going to win that fight, and he was actually the underdog versus Thomas Almeida. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say that Cody is a knockout artist. He's very vicious with his strikes. He's just straight out there, brawling now, status. Why do you say that? I'm going to say, well, Dominic Cruz is official with his movements. Will he get caught by the strength or the speed of Cody? That's what's worrisome about this. Because Cody you know, is... Dominic Cruz has like a, 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 a yeah. weird style, hands down kind of thing. Yeah. So, it's, I mean... I think as being an analyst to the UFC, Dominic Cruz, I'm pretty sure, would be able to, if not now, he'd probably study uh, Cody if, if it ever happened and they actually fought each other. Mm -hmm. Now, with that being said, I think he will be more aware of who he's fighting, and I think there may be a little change in regards to the stance or fighting style Dominic Cruz delivers on that exact fight. No, no, I don't, I don't think uh, Dominic Cruz actually changes his stance at all. I think his stance is already way too difficult to fully find out. I don't, no one's been able to pick apart Dominic Cruz's fighting style besides Uriah Faber back in WEC, but then again, that's when Dominic Cruz was young. He wasn't wise in the way that he was fighting, and he just got caught in a guillotine. Here, we have a guy, Cody. He is an aggressive fighter. He is young. He is literally the youth of the UFC right now. He is one of the most youthful people. One of the, what one I of think, the people who can be a star. Blanco, let me, and that may be the case, but what would be more interesting to me, maybe a little bit off topic here, but I think that Cody should go against TJ Dillashaw. And, and the best of both, because T.J. Dillashaw deserves a rematch this against is, Dominic Cruz. You got to look at it from a UFC perspective. I don't think that they do this. The reason why is if you make those two fight, after Dominic Cruz fights whoever it is that he fights, who the fuck does he have to fight? That's it. Makes that, means, that means the runner-up just beat the guy who was a second runner-up, basically. You don't have those two fight. I don't think it's a smart idea. Who's um, winning the fight? Okay, so th this is, first of all, I want to get on this topic a little bit, so I'm just going to ramble a little bit on this topic. So, one thing that I want to say is TJ Dillashaw and Dominic Cruz was a very good fight. It was very close. Now, TJ Dillashaw stated that he wants to go ahead and put up $100,000 of his own money 
to go ahead and fight Dominic Cruz, and he wants Dominic Cruz to bet $100,000 on top of the salary check that they get for fighting. So basically, whoever loses that fight is essentially fighting for free. So I think that Dominic Cruz, at this point, no one likes somebody who's complaining. Think about it. Think about this. When Jose Aldo was complaining about fighting Conor McGregor, nobody wants to hear a champion complain the way that these fighters are complaining. Like, like TJ Dillashaw is sitting here crying and complaining. Yeah, everyone knows, bro. Everyone knows you deserve a rematch. Everyone. There's not one person that, that watches UFC. Let me, 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 let